Speaker's Corner. I am practicing my freedom of speech and I am showing the humanity how beautiful art is. It's not only art is beautiful, Islam is the only ideology out there cannot stand for art. Islam is the only ideology out there cannot stand for the criticism. Is it ever okay to kill people because of their freedom of speech? No, it's not okay. It's not okay. So what are you going to say to the followers of Islam because they took the life of journalists? Nothing in the process. I don't have a problem with the picture. I have a problem with the ideology. Who is against those pictures? I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Why are you afraid of me? I'm afraid of you. Guys, I told you she's going to be afraid of me. I told you. I'm going to make a fool out of her. Sir, are you still this listening? This lioness is a pussy cat, nothing more than that because she's a liar. She's a liar. I am not talking she's to this gentleman why? because why? he, because he I'm going to blessed him yeah. against you, my God. You yes. He lied and blessed him against you. my God. And right now, I am not talking to him. There's a devil, there's a devil inside you. There's a demon inside you. She does him against Allah and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam all the time. All the time. I say what she has is a demon and why I say that? Well, I don't believe he's all spirit. Here's the problem. Any spirit say Allah is not God, any spirit say Muhammad is not God, that means they have a problem with Allah. Why? Any spirit say Allah is a false book, is a demon by Muhammad. I am going to rescue you from your demon by the name of God. Muslims are blasphemy against my God. Muslims are very against Allah. I say she has a demon. I say she has a demon. I say she has a demon. I am blaspheming her God. Demon is her God. She accepts the demon is her God because I have blasphemed demon, not God. She say you are blaspheming my God. I am not Muhammad. I am not Muhammad. I am not Muhammad. It is Muhammad who is identified as the Messiah. Never ever say that, sir. Muhammad, Muslims, Muslims are running away from me. Never ever say that because this is a Muslim here. Muslims standing here asking all your questions, and I'm going to expose your false Bible. Come on, face me. Come on. Web sleeper, they beat Muhammad because Muhammad was telling lies. Hide behind Quran. Muhammad was telling lies. They hide behind Quran. Okay, okay, I don't, I don't from you. I don't from you. I would say these words. He will save me from the followers. He believes. Please save me from the followers. 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 Please save me from the follow
According to Muhammad, he said, the Satan has become a Muslim. I can see the act of Satan here. Huh? Can, I, can I speak? How can, how can a Muslim have a good discussion? Muslim does not have anything to speak. Can I? They cannot. They cannot. They don't have. They don't have anything to speak. The Christians, Christians have a diary of the mouth. They can never stop talking. All of them. All of them. Of course, of course, of course. Jesus is sinless. Jesus is pure child. Jesus is sinless. And Jesus said, who can prove the sin on me? I'm just giving her but what Muhammad, from her. Come Muhammad on, died with a sin. Answer me. He died with a sin. Don't make a fool out of you. He never, I already promised I'm going to make a fool out of you. He never asked for his sin. You're already making a fool out of yourself. Answer me. Come on. Come on. Talk to me. So this line huh? is, is a pussy cat. We learn that. Okay, I'm here to whenever talk you, to you get the courage, come and talk to me. I'm here to talk to you. Come on. Come on, talk to me. I'm scared of you. You are scared of me. Of course, of course. Art is wonderful thing. Art is wonderful thing. But we are not talking about the art. Poor children are sitting. These are the filthy fruit of Islam. Yes, that's the filthy, filthy fruit of Islam. Yes. How are they? How are they? Art is wonderful thing. Have you ever seen any Christian, any Christian coming here and insulting? Young kid, young kid, young kid, young kid, young kid. I've seen every religion, every race. Because we don't teach our children. We don't teach our children this way. What? Okay. Let me just get on with this. Yeah, go ahead. Are you not one? Are you not a Trini, yeah? Trini. Art is wonderful thing. It is great that God gives gift to humanity. People create, people draw. But there is an ideology out there does not allow you to create and draw. There is an ideology out there has a problem with the creative, creativity skills of humans. Charlie Hebdo magazine, this is a special edition. It is put together in the intention eight people were killed. And it was the anniversary of that. Eight people were killed because they simply draw the picture of Muhammad. Of course, we might, agree, we might agree or disagree how beautiful Muhammad was. <coughs> Can you see how pretty it's funny, he is? It's, funny though. Funny. it's not about how funny I am. Grow up, grow up. How pretty Muhammad is here. In here, the cartoon is talking about Muhammad as a gay. Why cartoon is talking Muhammad as a gay? Because Muhammad thought it was all right to suck the tongue of a child. Show me, show me. And Muhammad me, offered me, paradise me, to that. Show me, show me. Provide your evidence. Or, oh, I'll read it quickly to you. Or another beautiful art. Another beautiful art where Jewish and Muslims are together living happily after. You need to leave the Can you see I'll, I'll how happily after they are you living you together? Or or another beautiful, another beautiful cartoon. I am the one of the people. Shut up. Says Muhammad. Answer my question. Muhammad is calling people infidel and telling them to shut up. And you know what happens? What happens when people do not shut up according to Islam? What happens to people when they do not shut up? She has. What happens to infidels?
Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? But what happens is, what happens is, if you, apparently, if you draw such a picture, religion of peace wants to separate your head from your body. This is a beautiful picture. It took a pretty long time to make it. You are seeing it, sir. This is what you get. This is what you get. This is what you get. Then my question is, my basic question is... Be honest. We would do this without any cameras. Be honest. Never will. Let me show more pictures. This is another one thing with all concerns. This handsome, this handsome, lovely Mohammed. Look at his tummy from eating. He's got too much, too much belly. He doesn't even have six packs. Can you imagine man in seven something? There are six packs. And he's having a bath with a child. And he's fondling a child. That is sickening. But that is the prophet of Islam. Does and his Shall I find your husband? Follow that. Shall I find your very nice husband? That will treat you good. Shall I? Shall I find your husband? He'll, he'll treat you good. And this is, yeah? this is again he'll Muhammad. Like a, he'll treat you like a queen. He's very much overwhelmed by the radical huh? Muslims. I'll find you one. Be, because Islam is the religion of peace. Islam is the religion of peace. And people are very much, Muhammad is very much afraid of radical Muslims. Muhammad simply calls, I am the prophet, you moron. Shut up, infidel. Those of us who are infidel, we know what it means. We know what it means. The way you shut people up is you separate their head from their body. <laughs> She gets guided from Lucifer. Why are you bringing these cartoons out of the mountain? What is wrong with this? 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 What is, what is wrong with those pictures? Guys, guys, what is, don't touch me again. Don't ever touch me again. What is wrong? Why is it wrong to draw the prophet? Why? 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 Why is it wrong to draw the prophet? Why? I think, I think this one gets the prize. He draw the prophet very beautiful. Look, actually, he should, he should have two teeth missing from the bottle of butter, but he has all of his teeth. Can we talk about, Can we talk about the bottle of butter? Let's talk about the marriage thing. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me about the marriage. Ask for this, uh, first I'll deal with the pictures. No, yeah, so, you're running away. You're picking but I am running away. I'm here, I am asking the basic question. I've asked the so, is it okay to draw the picture of people? Is it okay well, to draw the picture of people? I'll do that. It's okay. Put okay. the photos away. Uh, when That's you're ready, asking. yeah, I've got to That's all I am asking. When, when you're ready, I've got to answer very well. What is the question, sir? This is Speaker's Corner. I am practicing my freedom of speech and I am showing the humanity how beautiful art is. It's not only art is beautiful, I am also I am also asking the questions. I am also asking the question what kind of prize this person should get for the drawing. If you are, if you want to talk about the place of the speaker's corner, do you mind doing that with someone else? Maybe go and ask the police. Right now I am talking about the freedom of speech. Okay, right now I'm talking about the freedom of speech right now and Especially the, uh, when it comes to the pictures of Mohammed. There is nothing wrong with the picture. The wrong thing is because of the picture, people are killing other people. Because people thought it was all right there. Not, yeah, that's all I'm talking about. That's all I'm uh, talking about. Do you believe it? And of course, one thing we would agree is love is stronger.
Jordan hates as the prophet of Islam practices. As the prophet of Islam is practices. So right now, right now, I'm not doing any teaching. Can you wait a little bit? After I finish the com what I'm talking about, I'll talk to you. Is that okay? So is that okay? After I finish this, I will come and talk to you. Then, then please go and talk to someone else. That, okay, then please go and talk to someone else about the freedom of speech. Sir, I am answering. Do you think? When is it okay? I am, sir, you are not listening, and I have no time for people who are not going to listen. Okay? No. This is wrong. It is it is wrong for prophet of Islam to have a sex with a child. Can we talk about it? Can we talk about it? I got the answer. Debate me about it. Debate me. Is it wrong to have sex with a child man who is in his fifties? Let's talk about That's the question. Is it wrong to have sex with a child for a man who is in his fifties and child is six years old? Can we talk about this? I am asking you the question, sir. Sir, don't. I'm not asking you to come and learn your answers from me. Use the brain, okay? Right now you're not helping me. Right now you're not helping me. That's nice. Of course, of course, there is. There is another beautiful picture. Quran which has been Quran which has been perfectly preserved has been has been has been has been destroyed. Has been destroyed. What is your problem with the art? So you think this should be in the museum? I, I agree with you. You think it's art? Sir, sir, this is last time I'm talking. Okay, I'm telling you. Can you please leave me alone? Thank you. Can you please leave me alone? Thank you. Sir, I already told you I will have a conversation with you once I finish. If you cannot wait, please go and have some conversations with other people. Thank you. Thank you. What about me? So, Alex, first. Can I have a conversation with you when you finish? Why are you not asking? Can we have a discussion about this after? We debate about it. I got answer for everything. Is that acceptable? Can you take this away? What kind of man can say I don't know if it is acceptable for man in his fifties to have a sex with a child? Do you think is it all right to have a sex with a child when you are in your fifties? No. Okay, that's the point I'm trying to make. So, what would you say if someone had a sex with a child when he's in his fifties? What generation? It's not. It has nothing to do with what generation. In which generation can it be ever okay? For man in his fifties to climb the top of a child to me, to me. in which generation? To zero me. generation. Zero generation. Zero generation, sir. What was the marriage? No, sir, you already lost your chance. You already lost your chance. Now, now, let me no, 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 get to the bottom line. If I got the Bible and put a hole in it, we would eat all you. Was he talking? Nothing. So if I get a Bible, I'm prepared to be a racist. I will be a racist. If you want to do it, if you want to do it, if you want to do it, do it. This is a book. This book holds people. This book presents Allah as a terrorist. This book presents angels as a terrorist. This book presents followers of Islam as a terrorist. I am afraid of the teachings of this book. Therefore, it does not deserve my respect. Or, or this book. Or this book. None of those books are deserving my respect. The reason it doesn't, the reason it doesn't deserve my respect, because Allah is identified as a terrorist. Angels are identified as a terrorist. And the followers of Islam is identified as a terrorist. Therefore, I am not surprised. I am not surprised. Such a gifted people to be killed by the followers of religion of peace. Why?
because this is what simply Islam is teaching. It makes me proud to stand against this book who is calling, who is calling the dehumanization of the human beings, especially Muslim, non-Muslims. What is it do with me? I have an Are you Muslim? No, I'm not. Are you Muslim? If you are not Muslim and if you are defending this book, remember, you are identified as the worst of creatures. Remember, Allah is going to cause terror in your hearts. Remember, angels are going to cause terrors in your heart. Your hands and your feet, your fingertips are being chopped off if you are not Muslim. That is the teachings of this book. This book calls husbands that they can rape their wife. This book calls... Show me the word rape. This book simply calling me to be killed because of my belief. Because I do not believe in Muhammad, therefore I should be killed. This book does not deserve my respect at all. And I am disturbed that people are defending this book. Especially people who do not know about the book are defending this book. What a shame and shame and shame. Show me. Can I take one of the girls? Show me. And so he said, No, 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 no. If you don't know it, I can't go. 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 You're going to call me sir, a liar. I don't know. Sir, sir, you are sir right now, right now, I am very uncomfortable with your place. Right now, I am very uncomfortable. Nothing in the Quran says you're I don't have a problem with the picture. I have a problem with the ideology. Who is against those pictures? I have a problem with the ideology. Who wants to stand behind this book? I have a problem. I have a problem with the people who follow men called Muhammad. I have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with the pictures. So that has nothing to do with what I am asking you. That has nothing to do with what I am asking you. There is a problem. There is a problem when it comes to when it comes to beautiful art. There is a problem when people think they should simply they should simply have full respect to a book which is causing you to be dehumanized. People think they need to have a respect towards a book which identifies you as the worst of creatures. People have a respect to book which book of God of that book identified as a terrorist. People are asking me to respect a book with heavenly beings of that book is identified as a terrorist. People are asking me to respect a book which orders me to be killed because of my belief. People are asking me to respect a book which simply orders, which simply orders husband to rape their wife. People want me to have a respect to a book which simply orders husband to beat their wife. People want me to respect a book which simply orders me to be chopped in pieces. And I have no respect such a book. And I don't have a problem with people who has a respect to this book. I said whatever you believe has for you, but what is to do with people? Whatever I believe it's for me, that I appreciate that, but this book doesn't give me that right. And this book has been followed by 1.6 billion people, and the followers of this book caused over 3,000 people to be killed in 9-11, which people remembered 19th year, 19th year anniversary. Followers of this book are simply taking the life of Charlie Hebdo magazine people, 
Why? Because they cannot stand for the freedom of speech as well as they cannot stand for art. That is the problem. And you can't shut me down. Yes, I can. I am not your dimmi. I am not a dimmi. I am not a dimmi. But I would appreciate, I would appreciate if you simply tell me why don't you give up Islam? I, I would appreciate that. Islam. I would never give up. Why? What is Islam offering you? Does Islam offering you these wonderful versions in Islamic paradise? Because Muhammad is offering versions to everyone who follows him. Even that's an animal. Everyone who follows him gets 72 versions. What is your problem, sir? Because because I simply tell you the Islamic teachings. Because I simply read the Islamic teachings. Can you imagine what does it say? What does it say about the people who are following this ideology? What does it tell you about the people who goes and take the life of journalists? What does that make Muhammad? What does make Muhammad? That makes Muhammad is the source of hate preacher. That makes Allah the source of hate preacher. That's the bottom line. Sir, do you think? Sir, 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 is it ever all right? Is it ever all right to kill people because they practice their freedom of speech? I'm asking you. I'm not looking at the camera. I'm asking you the question. Is it ever okay to kill people because of their freedom of speech? No, it's not okay. It's not okay. So what are you going to say to the followers of Islam because they took the life of journalists? I have a question. What are you going to say to the followers of Islam who took the life of journalists? Who took the life of journalists? It's your job. It's your job to find a hero in the Muslim things and to stand here in the camera. This is Muslim. Is that what you are going to say? Because of you, people will fight each other. This is you what you're doing. This is a terrorist. This is a I'm not, I'm, I respect you. I don't know you. This is the first time for me. But what you do here, I love Christian. I love Hindu. I love Israel. I love everybody. This is Islam teaching. No, I don't know. Islam doesn't teach you to love me. Islam tells you, do not take them as friends. Islam identifies me as the first of creatures. Show me the Quranic verse. Allah tells you to love me. There is no verse in Islam tells you to love me. And there is no verse in Islam tells you to love those journalists. There is no verse for that either. So don't come here and then play that victim victim game while people's life has been taken away from them. You know, you know, you know those people have a favorite color. Those people had loved ones. What happened to them? Followers of Muhammad took their life away from them. That is not acceptable. That is not acceptable at all. I don't talk to you. 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 She's the one who has a, a Muslim want to confront her, she doesn't want to talk. Other Muslims don't want to talk. Has Islam is very kind of society. Come on, answer your Bible. Do you think it's your first Bible. Asking, I am answering your question. The fifth God of the Bible. Your God is a fifth God according to the Bible. Answer my question. He's giving wives of men to the other men for open sex. Open your Bible and answer my question. How come? How come you believe in such a God? How come you believe in a God who punished children for the iniquity of their four parents? How come? That's your God. One of the Ten Commandments. He will visit the iniquity of the parents to the fourth generation. Of the fourth generation. Do you know, according to the Bible, if a man doesn't have a private part, he cannot enter the assembly of the Lord. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says you can't enter the assembly of the Lord if you don't have both. What kind of a God is that? Why is your religion? Your religion is a demon, it's a devil. It's a devil, 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 it
Turkey, Surah 3, verse 28. But there is something very serious. There is something very serious. While human beings are playing denial game, while human beings are running away, and certain human beings were intentionally blaspheming my God on the day of judgment, all they can do is asking the mountains, asking the rocks to hide them from the wrath of the Lamb of God. And it is the Lamb of God who steps into this broken world and takes away the sin of humanity. It is the Lamb of God who becomes perfect sacrifice for man and woman to stand in front of holy God. And that Lamb of God is also identified as Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. What is your problem, sir? My I have a problem with Islam as well. My problem is, what gave you the authority? Why would you put holes in there? Why? What? I, I, I've got, got my own authority. I, yeah. I, 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 I have my you own authority. You can't prove your point to people without making fun of them. I'm not making... Do you think is this fun? Of course, you put holes in there. That's not the fun. That wasn't fun. That wasn't fun. It was hard work. It was hard work. Hard work. I, I use authority. I had. I had. You can't, you can't prove your point to people without doing this. No. What did she just say? Hey, this that, is another. This is another visual aid. So you see how sad you make yourself in front of all these people. So do you think is it all right that your religion is calling me worst of creatures? Do you think is it all right your religion is identifying Allah as a terrorist? Do you think is it all right that your religion is identifying heavenly beings as the terrorist? Identifying followers of Muhammad as a terrorist? Do you think that's all right? I will ask you. Was he not a terrorist? Very, very Was it not terrorist? What Muhammad did to Banu Kureza? How can I be racist? I simply, I simply told him what Muhammad did. I am racist. Muhammad is the one you need to be using those languages, not me. I haven't seen Muhammad, but I've got his picture. I've got his pictures. Don't you like his lips? Don't you love his lips? I think his lips are the perfect. Those are the lips he thought it was all right to kiss the black stone. That is not the black stone. It's just an I know that's not the black stone. So why are you using Those lips are the one who kissed the black stone. That's not the black stone. I know that's not the black stone, man. You ran away, now you came back. Yes, I came back. So that's not the black stone. I know that's not the black stone. That is Muhammad, who is simply going to suckle the tongue of a child. Child. He doesn't look like. I know. This guy looks like have six packs. You make me upset. This and this guy, he doesn't have eyebrows. I forgot to put eyebrows to Muhammad. Muhammad just got his eyebrows down. So your job is to attack Muslims, to attack the Quran. I'm not attacking Muslims. I am attacking Islam. What have I done to you? I, sir, I am not attacking you. I'm. Critiquing Islam. Why? I am critiquing is Islam because job? I told you Islam is very dangerous. Do you is want me to repeat it again? No, no. Is, is this your job? It's not my job, I but I love it to be my job. I love it to be my job. So you love to make other religions. I love to demolish the ideology of Islam because Islam is very dangerous to humanity. So what is your point? You want all Muslims to be Christian? I love Muslims to bow down and accept Lord Jesus Christ as the eternal Son of God, and by believing in Him, they will have eternal life. Now I'm done with you. So you are back, man. So let me. So wait, wait. I need you to 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 wait. Can you wait? Don't run, though. Don't run. I, sir, I am here. Look, we've got only one seat between us. Wait. You want now, wait. To be sir, Muslim. you are Muslim. Is this going to happen? Ma'am, give me a second. Is this going to happen in your give brain? So, do you think all Muslims will be Christian or Christian will be all Muslim? Can I answer? Can this I answer? Is your brain. Can I answer? Is this what you wanted to show the people? All Muslims to be Christian. Is this what you believe? Can I answer? No, no, I'm asking, is it your job first? No, you said it's my hope. You are asking, so I am saying, can I answer? And you are not allowed to be the answer. On YouTube to attack Muslims, to do this, and the Muslim will attack, will attack a, a, a Christian, Shia will attack a, a, a Sunni, and this will attack this because of you.
I just wanted you to go to the hospital because as soon as possible because you have a mental issue. You calling people to Christian. Is this how you call people to Christian? Let me respond. By attacking another religion and then welcoming to come to all Muslim religions. I find it very you, much heartbreaking. Is this what you do in the family? And Muslim is not even allowing me to respond. No, let me, yeah, let me respond now. You, you ask love, me, I now love, let me to respond. I love, I love let Muslim. me respond. I love Christian. I love everybody. I am a Muslim and I love everybody. <laughs> Don't ever talk to my brother like that. Don't ever talk to me, my brother, like that. Shut up. You got no brothers. Don't ever talk to my brother like that. You're a devil. I'm not Muhammad. Did you get that? I'm not Muhammad. So now let me respond. Muslims are simply suggesting me to. Muslims are simply suggesting me to go to mental hospital. Why? Because all I did was simply bringing some of the references from Islamic teachings about Muhammad. Can you imagine? If just reading the references, making me to go to the mental hospital, where would Muhammad end up? Where do Muslims would end up? Because they are practicing those references. That says a lot about Islam. That's the first point. Second point is, I am expecting this gentleman to give me the Quranic reference where Allah expresses his love towards me. Listen this sound very well. Chick, 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 chick. That's my heart is broken. Because simply Muslims lie about their religion. There is no verse in the Quran that is telling. There is no verse in the Quran simply telling Muslims to love me. There is no verse. And Muslims cannot find that. Therefore, what happens is they are very much upset about it. So that's the that's the another point. And lastly, and lastly, Islam is an ideology. I am not here to demolish Muslims. I am not here to demolish Muslims. I am very much aware that there are some Muslims who are intentional to not follow Islam. Therefore, I love them. But I have a problem with the ideology of Islam. I really don't know why Muslims are taking this personal. Their ideology is very much dangerous. Their ideology is teaching those things. Their ideology is teaching. I don't hate Muslims. I love Muslims. I hate Islam. It is the Islam is dangerous. It is the teachings of Islam puts me in danger. It is the teachings of Islam puts those people in danger. It is the teachings of Islam takes the life of over 3,000 people in 9-11. It is the teachings of Islam took 37, over 37,000, sorry, caused 37,000 terror attack to non-Muslims. That is the teachings of Islam. Allah doesn't respect what I believe. Do you understand that? Allah doesn't respect what I believe. Do you understand that? Sir, I ask for the question. I love Muslims because my God loves them. He gave himself for them. I hate the ideology of Islam. Dangerous ideology. That is the bottom line. No, it is your turn. It is your turn. Give me the Quranic words where Allah loves me. Find it. I'll hold it. Find 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 it. I answered the question already. I did answer the question already. I answered the question already. Find the verse Allah is falling in love with me. Find it. 
find the verse. Of, I don't want to be Muslim. I have a brain. What is, what is, I have is, a brain. Now, can you find the verse Allah for loving me? What is your point? Do you have depression in mind? Do you have learning difficulties? Do you have learning difficulties? Muhammad is a false prophet. I think I am in a stage. I am thinking you've got learning difficulties. Are you able? Yes. Okay. Let me break it down. Can you show me the Quranic verse here that Allah loves me? You said Allah loves me. You said you respect me. Can I get that from Allah? Here's the book for you. Can I ask you? Find the find the verse for me. Allah said. Find the verse for me. I'm saying in my hand. Allah said. وَكُونُوا عِبَادَ اللَّهِ أَحْلَانَا I can say in English, but the way you say this... Your religion is to you, my religion is to you, to me, is nothing to do with what I'm asking you. Where is it Allah expresses love to me? So you don't have that verse. So you woke up, 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 you came at the park to attack people. I am heartbroken. I am disappointed Everyone that 6,236 verses, there is no verse, Allah loves me, but Muslims simply tells me that they love and they respect me. Allah doesn't love and respect me, you are very bad Muslim. You are very bad Muslim, but that's okay, because all human beings are bad. All human beings are fallen short in the glory of God. All human beings are. Therefore, Lord Jesus Christ, eternal Son of God, steps into this broken world and then says, I can heal that relationship which is broken. I can fix the problem of this broken world with my death and resurrection. You have a problem with and with his death and his resurrection, Lord Jesus Christ, fix that solution, so not your, that problem. With his death problem. and resurrection, Lord Jesus Christ so makes us it. good your enough for God. God looks at you us and he declares, and declares us righteous. Why? Because the perfect I'm sacrifice I'm of I'm Lord sorry, Jesus I'm Christ. Have you got the reference for me? Yes, give me, give me the reference. That is your din to you, my din to me. So give me the reference. Where is it? I don't need you. Where is it? And I'm Muslim. I don't need you. Where is it? Where is the reference? I don't have a heart. Moment of truth. It's the moment of truth. Give me the verse as well, bro. When you're ready. Will you serve this Give me the reference. It's your job. Give me the reference. You make the claim, it becomes your job to back up your, back up your claim. It shouldn't be that difficult to get that verse which Allah loves and respects me. Respect everybody. They yeah, give me, give me the reference. Give me if the reference. It's not gonna attack me. It's not gonna harm me. I respect everybody. Give me the reference. Oh, you want a reference about Allah? Say, what's it talking? You want to? What does you want a reference for? Wakuna ibad Allah yakuna. What surah is it? What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay, okay. Check Google is not being helpful. What did you use for that? I'm telling you. You are a Jesus. You are a Jesus. That's a hadith. That's a hadith. No, no, it's Quran. Okay. I'm not saying it's a hadith. Jesus died. He said a minute ago, God will do everything. Tell me what she's looking for. I'll find it. That's what I'm telling you. That you say that doesn't. That doesn't. I said. I said it in Arabic. Give me the reference, sir. Give me the reference. I I read the Quran. It is not there. Therefore, burden of proof stands on you. You need to give me the reference. I am a Muslim. I'm telling you. I apologize. Everything happened to you. From hate speech. Do you think do you think apologize is gonna no, fix? I'm a Muslim, I'm gonna apologize to you. And I'm sorry. You can't please, please, so please. is your apologize going to bring those people back to life? 
is your apologize going to bring that you over 3,000 no people no who, were, who were killed in, uh, no who were killed in 9 11? Is your apologize going to bring that back? Is your apologize? Let me finish. Is your apologize? going to help us to get rid of this book because this book is the source of hate speech this book is the very damaging to humanity I can't see no hate speech from him to you. In England, in England, show me the picture again. I can't see no hate speech from him to you. I respect you, by the way. Exactly. In England, in England, there is more than 40,000 knife crimes each year. She has a problem before people have died. The facts, the, 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 the angels She's come from agenda, where? From newspaper. So standing here. Are you hearing that? No, no, no. Are you hearing that? Muslim, 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 Muslim is telling me. Muslim is telling me there are knife crimes. You don't have any problem, but you are bothered with the life of eight people. Did you hear that? Those people had a life. Those people had a favorite color. They had loved ones. And their life has been taken away because of this book. Because of this book. Because of this book. You have a problem from someone who attacked or that someone, someone. Yes, that someone is Muslim. Yes, and I'm sorry. That someone is Muslim. Your sorry doesn't get rid of this book. No, no, no. Your sorry doesn't get rid of this book. Your sorry doesn't get get rid of this man. Your sorry doesn't get rid of Muhammad. Have you seen Muhammad? Your sorry doesn't get rid of Muhammad, let alone his teachings. She's talking about Muhammad. She's getting the facts from the newspaper. And we're standing here washing brains to the media around the world. This is what I do. A Muslim can attack her. We shouldn't attack nobody. We advise her, we leave. You only killed over 3,000 people in 9-11. You took the life of people who practice their freedom of speech and you attacked no one. You killed over 10,000 Christians in Nigeria. You killed, you attacked, you did 37,000 attacks because of your belief since 9-11 and you killed no one. You don't even see those people as no one. Your prophet thought it was all right to take the life of Banu Kreza. Your, your prophet thought it was all right to, it, it was your prophet who thought it was all right to kill one. Prophet said this, Prophet said this. Be a did he equal. not say that? Be a equal. Did he not say be a that? Equal. Be a equal. Did, what did Mohammed do Banu Kreza? What did Mohammed do to Banu Kreza? This is the problem, this is the problem when someone has an issue with Muslims. They attack you, say, now I said what they did. Allah, how can you prove? They only memorize those words and they rehearse of the answer the way they want it and they watch all day long. I'm not ask I'm not asking you what is your problem. I'm saying my you I am disappointed. Wait, wait. It's not about the forgiveness, sir. Wait, wait. Have a, it it have has a... nothing to, maybe it has nothing even do with you, but it has something with your ideology and that very ideology is very dangerous. Solution solution to the problem solution to the problem is not asking for forgiveness. Solution to the problem is Getting rid of ideology called Islam. That is the solution so to the problem. The I want all Muslims to give up Islam. I want all Muslims to give up Islam. Is the, you can't be the first one. Okay, okay. Do you want to practice that? So the way you give up Islam first, you tell me that Muhammad is a false prophet. Let's do it step by step. Where Can you tell me Muhammad is false prophet? Where is free speech? I want to debate. It is free. Now you are talking about free speech. Yeah. No, no. no so there was no free speech when you were taking the life of those individuals. You had no problem when you were taking the life of so those individuals. No freedom of speech. Your reference in newspaper. You have no, you have no uh, problem when Allah is identified as a terrorist. No angels are Christian identified. Jews identified. Whatever. Angels are no. identified as if a terrorist. Yep. You, and Muhammad is identified as a terrorist. Like sorry. One million Muslims. Sorry. Can I just ask you a question? If you have a problem, one million Muslims died in Balkan. No, sorry. No, 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 no. Sorry. No, 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 no. Both in Kosovo. One, one million, million Muslims died by hands of Christians. You don't have a problem with that. Why did you get the pro Why did you get the idea? I don't have a problem with that. I have a problem.
Pakistan, I have a problem that people are killing one another. But my my problem is right now. My problem is right now. People are killing. People are killing one another because of this book. Because of the, this book. So you're gonna be the way you can here, fix it, you will be we get rid of Islam. Would you join me and then help me to get rid of Islam? Impossible. Mr. Impossible. Muslim, right, would you join me God and then help me to get rid of Islam? Listen what she's asking you. Would impossible. you join me and this is what she believes. join me and then and help me to get rid of Islam? He believes in He doesn't want to help me, but he has a problem with Allah, but he doesn't want to join me to get rid of Islam. Is there a way we can fix it? Apologize or fix it? I told you it's not about apologizing. Because cause of the problem is this book. We need to get rid of this book. Can we get rid of this book? Can we deny? Can we, can you join me and then tell me okay. this book okay. is very dangerous to humanity? Okay. Okay. It is identified okay. as the, the wise Quran, the eternal book of the guidance. Can you tell me that you agree with me? This book is very dangerous. Okay. This book is very dangerous. That's why you believe. Do you agree with me? No, no. Is this what you believe? Do you agree with me that this book is very dangerous? No, no. Is this what you believe? Do you agree with me that this book is very dangerous? Are you, what is your point though? What is your point? What is you going to try out of it? Uh, I can see that, yes, you do have learning no, difficulties. No, you say sorry as behalf of Muslims, I'm sorry. Whatever who attacked you, whoever done bad to you, internet, whatever you believe in, the society, sorry. When your Lord, no, when no, your no. Lord I know, revealed I know, to the know, angels I that I am with you, so make firm those who believe. I will throw fear into the hearts of those who reject the truth. So strike them on the necks and strike every limb the of them. The so angels, the angels and Allah. What, what, what is your question? I'm asking the question now. What okay. Is the war today? So angels and no, Allah is causing terror in the hearts of people who reject the truth, which is Islam. And then it says, we kiss and strike the them on the necks and strike every lips of them. Do you agree with that? Is that your question? Do you, yes, that's the question. Do you agree with that? I will, an, I will answer your question. Can you answer me one little What's question? After you, you answer my asked, question. You have asked me two questions and answered you. One little question. What is your point? You don't Sir, want to be do you a have Muslim. a problem with that? You don't like to be a Muslim? I have a problem with this. You want to destroy Muslim? What is your point? So can, I take, can we take this book out, take this verse no, no, no. out of the Quran? No, it's not going to affect me. It's not going to affect me. Because so, that was, that was the Surah 8, verse 12. Okay, okay. We got rid of that. Okay, let me come to the other one. What I'm saying to you is, what is your point? That's the point I'm making. Listen. Is this a hate speech? Okay. We shall place. Is this a hate speech? We shall place fear in, in the hearts of those who reject, on account of having associated with Allah, that for which He has not sent any authority, and their adopt is the fire, and miserable is the home of the wrongdoers. Do you think is it is this acceptable? Allah is causing terror in my heart. Is this acceptable? I will answer you. I will answer you. You know the heart. I cannot give you da'wah. Let me talk, let me let me let me say sorry on behalf of people who attacked you, because they have to love you, like you, not hate you and attack you and give da'wah. And I'm sorry if I done to you like this. What is your problem? Is it your problem the Quran? I understand you have a problem with the Quran, but to wake up, to stand in the camera, to tell the world. I have a problem with the Quran. What is your point? So what do you want us to do? As Muslims, no, what do you want me to do? If it's sorry, I'm sorry on behalf of everybody. I am I am very much heartbroken right now that you are intentionally not understanding what I am telling you. I told you, I told you, I told you, it's not about asking forgiveness for the things. You are not listening. Not, Mr. Muslim, Mr. Muslim. I said it is not about asking forgiveness or anything. I am saying there is a problem with the book you are following, okay? okay. And that book okay. is causing damage to humanity. Okay. And then I read 
did you averse? My question to you was, do you think you should be following that verse? There is no verse in the whole Quran to attack innocent people. There is okay. no at all. Am I innocent? Because I don't believe in Muhammad. Man, man have mercy with the cat. God has given mercy to Jannah. Of course, prophet, Islam, prophet, prophet, Islam, prophet, prophet, Islam tells you to have a mercy to mercy cat, with you, but not to Christians. Let me read it again. You are, you are, you are, you are hypocrites. No, no, no. You are hypocrites. I am if, going to read it again, Mr. Muslim. Mr. Muslim, I, I hate, I hate Mr. Your Mr. Mr. Muslim, I'm going to read it again. Okay, sure. We shall place fear in the hearts of those who reject the truth on the account of having associated with Allah, that for which he has not sent any authority, and their adopt is the fire, and miserable is the home of the day wrong doors. Okay? If, if Sir, I, I take... do you accept Islam as the religion of truth? No, I don't accept this. I don't accept Islam as the religion of truth. Okay, as a Muslim, you do accept Islam as the religion of truth. So according to this book, you are not listening. You your religion is to you. My religion is to me. It has nothing to do with what I am talking about. Always saying. Allah is saying, cast terror in their hearts. Do you think, should that be practiced today? If you, so, that's very simple yes and no answer. Okay. Can you say yes or no? Okay, should I answer this? If I attack your mom, your son, your dad, your neighbor, your kids, your friends, would you forgive me? That has nothing to do with my question. Let me ask my question again. Let me ask my question again. There are very much disturbing verses in the Quran which is causing damage to humanity. So you don't identify me as an innocent because I don't believe in Allah. Because I don't believe in Allah, therefore I am criminal, therefore I should be killed. That's the bottom line it is. So I, where is I am not identified as your sister. Bring me the references. Bring me the references. Your Islam, Mr. Muslim, Mr. Muslim, your version of Islam has nothing to do with the Quranic Islam. And I am grateful that you do not follow the Quranic Islam. Quranic Islam is very dangerous. Muhammad's Islam is very dangerous. Since 9-11, it caused over 37,000 terror attacks. This spoke. Why? Because there are people who wants to follow this book, who wants to follow man called Muhammad, who wants to follow the verse Surah 8, 12, Surah 3, verse 151, Surah 8, 16, Surah 9, verse 5. For sake of debate, you are right. What is your point? No, 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 you need to understand this. Sir, I, I, all I am coming to conclusion is, yes, you do have learning difficulties, and you have a problem with rejecting Islam. To get married, to get kids. But you said, no, 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 that's what you said. You said being a My point is to get rid of Islam. Islam is very dangerous ideology. We need to get rid of it. Sir, you said you are going to live an hour ago. You said you are going to live an hour ago, and you are lying. I told you, I told you my intention that Muslims give up Islam. That is my intention. Because the people who follow this book, they are very dangerous to humanity. They are very dangerous to humanity. So that is the bottom line. But, but you don't want to, you don't want to engage. So are you Muslim? Okay, so you know you're arguing how it goes all these terror attacks as well. Sorry? You know Islam is causing all these terror attacks. You're arguing. Okay, what about Christianity in the 1500s? What is, the, what is the biblical reference they used? Well, well, in the name of well, the Pope was the was the God's messenger. So. No, no. What is the biblical reference they used? I don't know specifically, but they used many excuses to attack I'm not, I'm not asking what are the excuses people use. Yes. I am asking what is the biblical reference they used? Which passage from the Bible? People used to justify their actions. It doesn't matter because it, it does matter. It does matter the, because the point I'm trying to make it here is there are good Muslims, there are bad Muslims. Okay, but there are Muslims. There are some Muslims who follow the teachings of Islam, and there are some Muslims who do not follow the teachings of Islam. So people who follow this book, okay, this book, Allah is Allah is acting like a terrorist. Okay. 
the shall place fear in it, actually Arabic says we will cause terror in the hearts of hearts of those people who reject the truth on the account of having associated with Allah for which he has not sent any authority. So Allah is causing terror in the hearts of people who reject Islam. Okay, that's the first reference. Second reference. When your Lord revealed to the angels that I am with you, make firm those who believe. Make firm. Sorry. Uh, make firm those who believe. I will throw fear in the hearts of those who reject the truth. Strike them on the necks and strike every limbs of them. And then Surah 9, verse 29. Just a moment. Let me let me finish. No, I'm not saying all Muslims. Huh? I'm saying I'm grateful that not every Muslim is following Islam. Fight those amongst the people of the book, that's me, okay, I'm Christian and among the people of the book, who do not believe in Allah, I don't believe in Allah, in the last day, do, do not hold the secret what Allah and his messenger have forbidden, and do not observe the true religion until they personally pay the jizya in full submission. I don't believe in Allah, I don't believe in Muhammad, and when it is telling you, fight with them until they pay you jizya. If they don't want to pay jizya, you kill them. So, people do crazy things. The world is very much broken, okay? And in this bro very much broken world, people go out and do things. My problem is, there is this book, there is this book, gives authority people to do so, okay? Therefore, I have a problem. How many people were killed in 9-11? Over 3,000 people. Why? Because people were following this book. Those are beautiful pictures. This is beautiful picture, beautiful art. And the people who draw this art got killed. Why? No, they didn't provoke him because people who follow this book were very uh, sensitive. But, but a lot of people who, follow, who also follow this book are not causing any terrorist no, attacks. No, 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 not a lot of people who follow this book. If they follow this book, they should be causing terror. But you need to be grateful not a lot of people are following. This gentleman is fighting his right that he's not following the book. That's good thing. But even if it is only 1% people who are following this book, what is the number of 1% in 1.6 billion people? That's a lot of people. And how many people, it was only like under the 10 people, or approximately 10 people who caused 6,000, uh, 3,000 people to be killed. It took only one person, it took only one person to bomb the bus in London. It took only a couple of people to kill the police officer in the, um, on the bridges. It takes only one person to take this book seriously and cause damage to humanity. That is the problem. So, like, I, I agree strongly with you. There are different, there are Muslims who follow the book and there are Muslims who don't follow the book. And I am grateful those who chooses to not follow the book at this stage. But those who chooses to follow the book, they are very dangerous to humanity. Because this book, as it said, is very dangerous to humanity. So the, this book, you are not Muslim, you said you are Christian. This book calls you as the worst of creatures, without even knowing what is your favorite color, without even knowing what good things you do, without even knowing you go and wait on the queue, without even knowing that you buy hot chocolate to your friends, calls you worst of creatures. Why? Because you are not Muslim. That's the reason. What's the context of it? Surah 98 verse 6. Surah 98 verse 6. You can check it out. He's Muslim. He knows better than me. What kind of what kind of context you need to have to be identified as the worst of creatures? 
So you are going to go without giving me any reference? That's absolutely fine, sir. What's your case? Sir, you did give me zero reference. I need you to reference, and I don't want you to be crying Muslim. You should be able to give me one reference where Allah tells you to love me and Allah tells you to respect me. That's all I'm asking. Give a clap. So come to me once you, you find that. I make speakers corner every Sunday from 1 p.m. Sir, I am at Speaker's Corner every Sunday from 1 p.m. Come to Speaker's Corner once you get the reference. That's not the reference I am looking for. You know better than me. That's not the reference I am looking for. I'll be embarrassed. Get, get the reference, sir. Go, 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 go to check Google. Go to check Google and get the reference for me. This is the reference. Go to check Google and then get the reference for me. What is your point? What is your point? What is your point? Sir, you are asking the same question as you have listened. You have listened to zero thing I told you. I think now you need to make a move. I'm sorry, but say I think now you need to make a move. Can you make a move now, please? <laughs> Can you make a move now? What you do, it makes people fight you. Then let's get rid of this now. Let's get rid of this now. If you don't want people to fight, you need to get rid of this now. What I'm saying as a Muslim. If you don't, as a Muslim, if you don't find, if you don't want people to fight, you need to get rid of this now. No. You tell get rid of Islam, get rid of the book, get rid of the ideology. Because Islam is because Islam is the one who is causing people to fight. Actually, Islam is the one who is fighting ideology. What makes what you believe is a fact. Have you got anything else to say now? If you, I will talk to you once you get the reference. I will talk to you. No, you have answered zero question. I will talk to you once you get the reference. The reference is Wakunu Ibadullah Ikhwan. Get me references. Wakunu Ibadullah Ikhwan. Go and get me references. This is England. Is it going to be in France? We are in England. Get me the references. Watch my back. Is it not better to get nice jobs other than getting? I quite like my job. It is just privilege for me that my God so, thinks it's so, important. So you're working for free. It, it is. It is just privilege that my God thinks is, is, he is, can is, use me for His is kingdom. Is that it, is just is a privilege for me. I'm not now, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm now not gonna I want you to give me the reference. I'm not going to say you're I want you to give me the reference. I, I'm, I'm done with you. I'm with you. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. You understand? I find I find it is very much disturbing and heartbreaking and you can hear how my heart is being broken. That's my broken heart. It is broken because I heard lies and lies and lies and lies. And still still there is no words from the Islam that Allah respects me. There is no no verse in the Islam, in the Quran, Allah loves me. Okay. That Allah was the bottom line. Allah and another bottom line is, this Quran is, this book is very dangerous.